Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, we're going to take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling, how they might be viewing you, and any possible future action they may take towards you. We're also going to take a look at the lessons that need or needed to be learned in this connection and get as much advice from spirit as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Wow, okay. So some of you, you are not in communication with this person. They could have air in their chart, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. It's definitely a soulmate connection. For a select few of my Taurus, this person may have cut off communication or ghosted or really started like picking fights or arguments in the connection because there was or there is somebody else. So just trust your intuition there. We'll get to the bottom of it. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Taurus, for their highest and greatest good. Let's see how they're viewing you. Temperance energy. All right, so Sagittarius energy. So they're seeing you as somebody who's big-hearted, um, somebody who's optimistic, somebody who's straightforward, intellectual, balanced. They may see you as an earth angel, somebody who's very patient. And the Ten of Swords, future action that they may take towards you. Now, if they are involved with somebody else, I'm kind of getting that they might end things to come towards you. Um, but we see the Seven of Cups. Yeah, see this person, they might be ending something to come towards you. It may not be another connection. I mean, if they're at a distance, they could be moving. Um, but I'm seeing here, this person is getting clarity and that clarity is telling them they should come straight for you, Taurus. This person's missing you. All right. So we see the King of Swords in reverse. This person may have some selfish tendencies. They may sometimes be detached. Um, you might feel that they're unreliable or they're indecisive at times. Um, for some of you, you're, you guys come from different backgrounds, race, religion, tradition, culture, socioeconomic backgrounds. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this person for my dear Taurus? Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Wow. Wow. All right, so this person, they, they want a new beginning here with you. I am getting, though, for some of you, this person may have rushed off in another direction or there may have been some sort of third-party interference. So use your best judgment. And again, just because they might be wanting a new beginning with you, Taurus, does that mean you want it with them? They're viewing you as a healer. They're viewing you as an earth angel. I feel like, Taurus, you feel like home to this person. I'm getting really strong wanting to reconcile vibes here. Let's see. Why do we have temperance here, please? We have, the yeah, this person. You feel like home to this person. They feel like you two, like you know this person better than anybody else is what I'm hearing. Yeah, they know that you're burdened. Some of my Taurus, you might be really struggling with finances, um, possibly paying off like a mortgage or you just have a lot of responsibilities. Um, some of you, you're working like two jobs just to get back on your feet and things like that. They really do admire that. They know that. They also know there's probably some, some things that you need to get off of your chest because I do feel there's been a lot that's been left unsaid with the King of Swords there in reverse. Um, they're viewing the connection as the, I'm sorry, the 10 of swords is their possible future action. So this person is feeling for some of you, they've ended something to come towards you. They're definitely feeling sadness and grief, but we're seeing a lot of, you know, we see three, sorry, we see double aces. So one, one coming out, we're seeing double tens showing up. So pay attention to that number sequence, 10, 10, 11, 11. Or combinations thereof. Why do we have the Ten of Swords here for their possible future action? That's your energy. They might be ending something with somebody else, Taurus, to come towards you. Or it didn't work out. Yeah, this person, if they've ghosted or they went quiet or they moved in a different direction, it's most likely because they moved towards somebody else. I don't see that working out. Yep, there's been some sort of breakup or separation um, with the Libran energy, this person detached, okay? It feels like they did that because of a third party, but I don't think that is working out or they have broken up. They have separated. 
you, this person is going to give you clarity and I do feel like they're going to show up out of nowhere, to be honest. So I would expect this person to show up. Um, I do think that they're going to give you the truth. Um, I'm seeing the Ace of Swords in my mind's eye, so they are going to give you truth and clarity. Um, yeah, it feels like, I, it just feels like they detached rather quickly is what I'm seeing. All right, let's see. What else does Taurus need to know about this person? They want marriage, commitment. They're acting cold and they've been hiding something or they were. All right, room service, do not disturb. It is possible there was a third party here, Taurus, okay? Do what you will with that information. Again, I'm not saying or no good reader is going to say go back to somebody that was lying or cheating on you. Um... But I, I do see for some of you, they're, they're hiding the fact that they really do want this commitment and marriage with you, but they're acting completely differently with that King of Swords energy. They may just have a blocked throat chakra, okay? Um, they may just, you know, their ego may not be allowing them to come forward and tell you just yet. We do have strong, strong air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius energy, um, Taurus, Libra energy coming through really strong, so it does feel like they've got some Libra placements. They might have like a Mars and Libra, which could would be debilitated. Again, that's not going to be for all of you. But I am kind of getting like this person has a hard time like speaking up or like they don't like confrontation. So they'd rather just be avoidant or even, you know, be dishonest. Um, but this person's acting cold and I see that they want they want commitment here. Okay. They may this person, I don't know, it's interesting. I feel like I don't know if you had like a, a date or a vacation that they remember where you stayed at a hotel together. I'm kind of seeing like for some of you, they might come and stay at a hotel near your home. That's if they're at a distance. Um, the lessons that need or needed to be learned here, Taurus, are set your intentions high and know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. Okay, so just know your worth and your value, what you're attracting. And you know, we're not what we attract. You know, oftentimes we say, oh, you know, you are what you attract, but more it's more indicative of what it is we let in, right? And we see this energy of betrayal. See, there may have been betrayal here, Taurus, but trust this part of your journey, understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity, okay? And we see spiritual mission. This connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in higher realms. This does feel like it's a destined connection, Taurus. Now, of course, it's going to be completely up to you whether or not you want to give this person a shot, um, whether this is something that that you want to that you want to work through. But it does feel like spirit saying, trust what's going on here. Um, this is teaching you to love more deeply, love yourself, and also in a higher capacity. All right. And not for all of you, is there a third party situation? I mean, it could just be somebody who is really heavy in their ego energy or didn't want to admit that they, they need you or that they wanted commitment here. If they're a self-proclaimed bachelor or bachelorette, or they get that pressure from friends and family. I, I do feel this connection is destined as in you were meant to come together for a spiritual mission. Again, your awakening or theirs or both. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. They act cold and they act detached. And I feel like that's a little bit of a like wounded masculine energy that I'm picking up on. Like they don't want their friends and family to know that deep down they're like really kind of, they want love, they want commitment, they want cuddles, you know, they want that romance. I'm at a loss for words right now. It's easier not to talk than to say the wrong thing. Yeah, so this person blocked throat chakra. It's like they need that time by themselves. Um, holiday, let's unplug from the rest of the world. There's something here about staying at a hotel with this person, whether it's a plan you had or you did or they have for you. All right, and let's see. I'm also hearing holiday in, not for all of you. And patterns, I'm becoming self-aware and I have learned that what I've experienced again and again must come to an end. So there's kind of seeing this repeated pattern and what I think is deep down, you have somebody here that really does want commitment and marriage 
and stability and union, but it kind of feels like they sabotage that. And I feel like they sabotage that because for a lot of you, this person gets like bad advice from friends and family, like that, like support them and being in this wounded masculine energy or like, you don't need anybody. Um, or, you know, you're good on your own or, you know, you don't want the old ball and chain. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, again, it's not going to be for all of you, but, um, they're also saying I'm opening myself up to love. I want you to hold my tender heart in the palm of your hands and accept me for who I am. So this is like somebody who's, you know, and I, I'm not saying this facetiously, but they're quite a softy on the inside. You know, they're romantic. They're sweet. They want to be like nurtured and taken care of, but I feel like they have such a big blockage here in letting you know that or letting other people like, I feel like they just don't want to be seen that way for fear of either being made fun of or yeah, there's something like really strong here about that energy. But this person, this person definitely wants you. It's like they just can't open up and tell you. Um, walk in stillness. Spirit's advice for you is there's no choice to make right now. Just be still. You don't always need to join in or jump into action. So just, this is kind of like an energy of like, watch and wait. Just do you, Taurus. This person's going to, I think they're going to come towards you. All right. I really do. Um, but it, it, it's going to take some time and they may do it in secret, which I don't really love. All right. And in, a, in alignment, everything is aligning perfectly in your life. What didn't make sense in the past will now start to fall in place, Taurus. Okay, nice. And let's see what else. And reconciliation. Yeah, they are coming back around. There is someone or something that can still be saved if you choose to compromise. Try to find the middle ground between two points. I think this person's going to come back around. I'm not seeing necessarily like a dog with a tail between their legs, but they're going to feel that way or they're going to be afraid that that's how they look. And I feel like ego energy is absolutely running the show, Taurus. This person wants to reconcile, but it's like, I don't know, friends and family might be getting in the way or their image or the, it's definitely their ego. And in the making. So you're entering a new reality, opening up to new levels of you and where you bet where your best self exists. It's your time to shine, so don't let anything hold you back. So, you know, I'm not a proponent of putting your life on hold, Taurus, for someone who's not reaching out, who's not taking action. But it feels like spirit saying, you know what, focus on you. You're gonna be attracting a lot of success and abundance as you're working through. Um, healing and moving forward here, which I really love, but I also feel like it's attracting this person. So you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, there's something here about you really attracting, being very attractive, maybe having a lot of options here. All right, let's see what spirit's advice is for my Taurus, please. We get parad um, I can't speak. Relationship paradigms. What speaks to your soul in close relationships? Mm. I think this person is actually starting to realize that they've been living like a life in the image of others rather than for themselves. And I think this person deep down really like that's the paradigm shift here. Now, of course, you might be seeing them differently or relationships differently. I definitely feel whatever has happened here, Taurus, has been an eye opener for you. Yeah. Subtract your own agenda from the goal. Let go of the tight hold you have on this situation as there's a higher power at work. So Spirit's saying to detach. You're going to get clarity. You know, the divine is definitely intervening here, protecting you, guiding you. You're on the right path. Remember what's meant for you will never pass you by and find your tribe. So seek out friendships and romantic partners who contribute to your soul's growth. Those who deplete you will keep you stagnant. Okay. And you're called to be compassionate and understanding towards this person. I do feel like they're going to reach out. Spirit does want you to hear them out. I almost feel too, life hasn't been too kind to this person. Or they've, I don't know if they had like a tough upbringing or like they, they kind of, I'm getting this like distorted masculine energy, whether they're male or female. Um, my readings are not gender specific. Remember it's energy, but feels like there's this distorted masculine, like image that they have to live up to Taurus that I think they're realizing they kind of need to break away from that because the people who are feeding them that information and, and supporting that, I don't think are happy themselves or maybe behave differently behind closed doors. And it kind of feels like your person's 
coming into that understanding. Um, but not for all of you is this person so heavily influenced, you know, by their family members or their, the people that are around them, but there is something there. Okay. Um, because I feel like, I feel like this person has actually been depleted by the people around them, the advice that they've given them. Um, anyway, all right, I'm going to leave that alone, but we see that you're being called to be compassionate and understanding toward another Understand we all walk this journey on different timelines. Yeah, so I do feel like Spirit's telling you to put yourself in this person's shoes. Now, that doesn't mean to ignore how you're feeling or what's best for you by any means. This person is going to come back around. It's going to be up to you if you want to give them another shot or you want to work on this if it's in alignment with you. But we definitely see the need here for patience. And there's no need to put your life on hold again, Taurus, for someone who's not reaching out, who's not taking action, who's not meeting you halfway, who's not willing to compromise. Spirit saying good things are coming to you in other areas of your life, provided you continue on your path. And again, if this person's meant to be with you, they'll be back. All right. So I'm going to leave it here, Taurus. I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.